What do we got here? Got a good guy's doll? Chucky, from the movie Child's Play. Everybody refers it to Chucky, but it's actually a good guy's doll, a little bit more rare. Okay, so where'd you get this? I got it as a gift from my buddy. His children are so afraid of it that he can't even keep it in the house anymore. I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop to sell my good guy's doll that was a prop in the movie Child's Play. If I'm able to sell the doll, I'm gonna give back the money to my friend so that way he can put that money into a college fund for his girls. I remember when I was a kid being scared as hell of this movie when I saw it. A lot of nightmares for a lot of kids. Child's Play. It was a typical 80s slasher horror movie. Yeah. It was a serial killer that got killed in a toy store, and he was somehow transformed into one of these good guy dolls. Yeah, they did some seance and put his essence into the doll that turns into Chucky. Yeah. And it just dies a million different ways and just keeps coming on back. It's a classic. <laughs> and then there was Child's Play 2, 3, Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky. And they definitely have a cult following. When you watch them now, they're almost comical, but yeah. when I was a kid, it was absolutely terrifying. It wasn't like that scary. It was a doll. <sighs> He's such a nerd. So, it's not an actual doll, is it? Uh, no, it's a prop. In the first movie, they go into the toy store, and there's a whole mock-up wall of multiples of these. Are you sure this was actually in the movie? Because the store blew up. Like, I know most of these, if not all of them, probably got destroyed. I mean, do you have proof this is on screen? Yeah. The maker of the doll gave me the certificate of authenticity. It shows that it was in the first movie and the second movie. And that's why, too, it's not a perfect box. Like, there's damage because it was part of those scenes. OK, so what are you looking to do with it, man? I'd like to sell it. What are you trying to get out of it? I'd like to get at least eight. 800, 8,000, 8,000, 8, 8, okay. That seems like quite a bit, man. I know there's a collector's market out there for these things. I just don't know how much those collectors are willing to pay. I'll tell you what, let me call my buddy Tal Robin. He's a props expert. He can definitely shed some light on it for me. Sounds right. good, right thank back. you. He was just trying to get away, he's scared. <laughs> so Tal Rob is coming down to check it out and tell me if it's actually legit. Check it out. Immediately recognizable. Uh, very cool. I would like to know if it was one that was actually used in the movie or if this is just an extra that they had laying around. You know, because I know in the movie Child's Play, they all got blown up. You're correct. In the movie, most of the dolls are destroyed. But they had made numerous dolls outside of that scene because if that scene goes bad and they need to do it again, they certainly have to have more product to put in the scene again. He does have this certificate of authenticity, if you want to take a look at it. I happen to know this gentleman who created the doll. He's a huge special effects artist in Hollywood. So for him to put his name on a certificate of authenticity, I consider that legit. What else can I tell you about it? Well, what's it worth? It's a background prop. The significant value of items are in the foreground props. The dagger that he used to d slice and dice up people with is a foreground prop and would have significant value. Background props? are fun, collectible, for sure. Overall, it's, it's in excellent condition. I believe in today's marketplace, at a competitive auction, this doll should bring somewhere in the neighborhood of $5,000. Well, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Good to see you again, Corey. OK, so um, now what would you take for it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, 7000 he said if it was a really competitive good auction, it could go for 5000 That being said, I'm still paying about 30% in fees. I'd like to offer you 1000 bucks for it. Yeah, we're, I know we're at completely different ends of the field on it. My bottom dollar, 6500 I mean, I can go up to two. Um, I just think, I don't think we can do it then, bud. I'm right, sorry. Right. Well, I appreciate it. I'm Bring sorry. it back if you uh, change your mind. All right, brother. Appreciate it. $2,000 is just too low. I think that if I just did my own digging, I can possibly get more for it. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a past? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.